Okay, so now we are now discussing about performance arts and theater. Okay, or ito na mismo yung pinag-uusapan natin as the performing arts. Yung background or yung picture that I showed here, yung kinuha kong picture dito ay from Rock of Ages. So this is a musical na pinlay noon dati sa Philippine Educational Theater Association. So, theater performance, whether on stage, on the street, or other spaces, reflects human life and different patterns of human behavior. It reveals human strengths, weaknesses, decisions, and consequences, and everything else human. It can serve as entertainment, warning, reminder, propaganda, or a window to human thoughts. So, isa pa sa mga masasabi natin na sikat na stage play sa ating bansa ay yung stage play na ang huling El Bimbo. So, katulad ng Rock of Ages, which is inspired by the music of the Ages band, ang huling El Bimbo ay isang stage play as well that is inspired by the erasers, eraser ha uh, heads band. Okay? Then, ito nga yung Rock of Ages. So, this is a musical featuring the songs of Ages. Then, another musical play that we have here ay yung Noli Metangere stage play. That is, of course, inspired by the book of Dr. Jose Rizal. So, theater arts uniquely use a specific language that applies to visual and auditory elements, media, techniques, and conventions. Its elements, as fully discussed in Chapter 2, are varied and complex. They include the physical presence of the actors, the colors and shapes of the costumes and scenery, sound and music, drama, the ideas and emotions expressed by the playwright, among other things. All interact with each other in space and time to convey the story. A performance is based on dramatic text staged using techniques of theater production and enacted and interpreted by actors, directors, designers, and other personnel before audiences are positioned in the sight of the performance. The dramatic text is a narration of a story with a conflict that develops into a series of crises and ultimately a climax. The story can either have a happy or unhappy ending. Kapag nga sinabi natin na merong happy ending, it is actually a comedy when it ends unhappily it is actually a tragedy. Now let's look on to the different kinds of stage that our actors act on. First is the proscenium stage. So this is also called a picture frame stage. The performance takes place behind the proscenium opening or frame of the stage. The seats of the audience face the stage like the seats in a movie theater facing the screen. This type of stage gives the audience a good view because the theater actors need to only focus on one direction. It also enables hiding of objects from the audience view like the sets, actors not currently performing theater technology. Anything that does not need to be seen by the audience can just be hidden from the proscenium arc, either in the side or what we say as the wings or the area above the stage or what we call as the fly space. And so as you can see, theater arts uses a combination of gesture, music, dance, sound, speech or a narrative 
So sa loob ng proscenium stage, we can definitely find theater forms like musicals, opera, ballet, or a combination of contemporary forms. So hindi lang din naman dito sa proscenium stage. We have other kinds of stages. So ito ang masasabi natin na proscenium stage. So kapag ka sa proscenium stage, ang audience ay nasa isang direction lang. Yung nakikita nila yung actor sa isang direction na harapan lang. Okay? And then kung meron mang orchestra, sila nakasama or band, live band, So, nakapwesto sila sa baba ng stage and usually nakatago sila doon sa audience. And then, yung ibang mga bumili ng mamahaling ticket ay nakaupo doon sa boxes na to. Then, arena stage. So, Very obvious naman ang pagkakaiba ng arena stage doon sa proscenium stage. Kung sa proscenium stage, nakikita lang nila yung mga artista at yung kwento. Doon sa isang direction lang, harapan lang, doon sa arena stage, makikita nila yung mga artista sa apat na direction, depende kung saan ka nakaupo. And then ang ating mga actors, uh, kung sa proscenium stage, bawal silang tumalikod ng sobra. Especially kapag hindi naman sila e-exit, kailang medyo nakaslan silang ponte para nakikita pa rin sila ng, uh, ng audience. Pagdating sa arena stage, they are pretty much free to move. Depende sa kung paano sila dinerek ng kanilang director at yung mga... stairs dito maaring makita mo na dito sila lumalabas okay para umarte so makikita mo baka maarte din yung mga actors dito sa stage entrance nila and then pwede din silang mag exit sa susunod pang stage depende kung saan sila dapat mag exit ganoon sa arena stage pwede silang umikot in four directions para nakikita nila lahat ng kanilang manunood. So, ang ating mga artista ay gumagalaw sa gitna. And then, cross stage. So, ito parang pinagsamang proscenium stage at arena stage. Pero, ang pagkakaiba, tinanggal yung dito. at ginawa na nilang stage mismo. So, makikita lang yung mga artista natin in three other directions. At yung galaw nila ay tatlong paraan lang din. So, pwede silang humarap dito, humarap ulit dito kapag ka nandito sila. So, yun ang cross stage. And flexible theater. Flexible stage theaters are those that do not establish a fixed relationship between the stage and the house. Also known as black box theaters, laboratory theaters, modular theaters, multi-form theaters, pre-form theaters, or environmental theaters, they can be reconfigured for each performance. and created and found, this stage space can be any kind of structure that maintains its original architectural elements intact such as lots, warehouses, dreams, etc. So perfect to para sa mga school plates. Kung saan pwede nyo magamit yung inyong mga dreams if you would create your own stage space. Usually, ang ating mga school stage plays naman talaga ay pwede play sa loob ng gyms. So, pwede niyong iayos yung stage dito. Depende sa creativity niyo. 
Uh, let's talk about styles in Philippine theater. So we do have psychological realism. So psychological realism focuses on the problems of individuals describing and diagnosing their anguish and joy, ambition and frustration, their hope and despair. Then social realism. Social realism situates and roots individual problems within the large picture of a class society. This is a reaction to the social, economic, political issues that confronted Filipinos. Then combination of realistic and non-realistic styles. So a combination of realistic and non-realistic styles uses realistic situations and combines them with non-realistic ones. And then the Brechtian style. The Brechtian style is named after the playwright Bertolt Brecht. His intention was to appeal to his audience intellect in presenting moral problems and reflecting contemporary social realities on stage. He wished to block their emotional responses and to hinder their tendency to empathize with the characters and be caught up in the action instead. He used distancing effects to cause the audience to think objectively about the play, to reflect on its argument, to understand it, and to draw conclusions. Then musical theaters, so of course, in musical theaters, that's when you will be hearing a lot of dialogues which are pretty much sung by the actors. So that means that musical performances do use music and dance heavily in the play. So musical theater is a form of theatrical performance that combines songs, spoken dialogue, acting, and dance. The story and emotional content of a musical humor, pathos, love, anger, are communicated through words, music, movement, and technical aspects of the entertainment as an integrated whole. So ito, yung kay Yolo Pascual na Ibarra, I actually, it's actually a new musical theater or musical stage play. And then ito, isa sa mga uh, legendary natin na musical play ay yung Rock of Ages. So, madalas to i-play sa Philippine Educational Theater Association. Now, we are now done talking about performance art and theater. Now, let's discuss dance. Dance is a big part of the Filipino culture. We all know na noon pa, wala pa ang mga Espanyol, ang ating mga Ninuno ay meron ng forms ng kanilang sayaw. So, Filipino dance during weddings, proms, parties in nightclubs, fiestas, or during ethnic rituals. In the different Philippine regions, traditional and folk dances are being reinterpreted into new creative dances performed by the members of the community during festivals like the Sinulog in Cebu and the Dinangyang in Iloilo. These dances are inspired by folk dances and are blended with contemporary costume designs, masks, props, choreography, courageous, gigantes, or what we say as a paper mache giants, and music. So as you can see, napakahalaga din for theater, stage plays, dance, at films yung music. Even so, let's focus first on dance. 
So sa bansa natin, we do have the folk dances katulad na nga ng tinikling at karinyosa. Other forms or other folk dances ay sinulog sa Cebu, dinagyang, and then ati-atihan dance. So ang ati-atihan dance niya ay isang saya wherein they do honor Santo Nino. So, appreciation of dance as performing art consists of four aspects, which are knowledge of choreography, technical skills, performance skills, and rhythm or tempo. So, knowledge of choreography, memory of the routine, and execution of the moves looks true to the moves that were choreographed. So, sample evaluation demonstrates excellent knowledge of the choreography and does it well. Technical skills, pointing of toes, back straight, arm placement is not sloppy, moves are executed smoothly. So, sample evaluation, dance was performed with great attention to quality of movements, body position, placement on stage, and other details of dance. Demonstrates an excellent understanding of dance styles. Then, performance skills. Projection of eye contact to the audience, having the right facial expressions, considering the theme of the dance, the dancer is confident with the movements. Then sample evaluation, the dancers are able to hold the audience's attention, their facial expression and movements touch the audience. Then rhythm or tempo, staying on count and with the beats of the music. Then sample evaluation, shows a complete understanding of tempo and beat and stays in rhythm throughout the dance. Now, let's discuss music. So, pagdating sa music, if you wanted to be a composer, then definitely knowledge about how to create your music composition is very important. So, big sabihin nito, dapat may kaalaman ka sa kung ano yung mga musical notes. Okay? So, katulad nga ng whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, at iba pa. Then, yung G clef or F clef. So, depende sa yo if you wanted to be more of a vocalist or yung ikaw yung instrumentalist na mas madalas na nag-play na instrument. So, we all know we do have the wind instruments, string instruments. At yung percussion. And so, music is more than just words being sung or instruments being played. It can penetrate thinking, change our mood, stimulate ideas, create space around men, or affect us in a positive or negative way. So listening to or making music satisfies man's psychological and emotional needs. So ibig sabihin nito, kapag ka nakikinig ka talaga ng music, you definitely respond to it physically, emotionally, and also intellectually. As it affects our brain functions, moods, mentality, our character, and thinking. Most especially, kung meron siyang lyrics okay and so music as a human activity is very complex 
it involves creativity and putting together melody to express an experience, a feeling, idea, words, and other things human. So, depende sa'yo kung ano yung music genre na paborito mo. So, kung ano man yung music genre na gusto mo, it actually makes to the whole you. Okay? In the 2000s, contemporary music in the Philippines was characterized by its new genres such as pop, emo, post-hardcore, and post-rock. It is characterized by improvisation, making use of instruments that are not normally used like gongs and bamboo. The content of contemporary music can vary from philosophical, social, commentary, personal, or propaganda. So globalization and technology have affected contemporary music here in the Philippines. In 2009, it was observed that musicians started using complex chord structures and sound effects that sounded very different from original Filipino music. Musicians were also experimenting with the sounds they can make, as any contemporary artist do. Though at some point, some artists were accused of plagiarizing Westerners because of colonial mentality, thinking that whatever Western is better. Famous contemporary Filipino music composers include George Masangkay Canseco, Raimundo Cipriano Pujante, Ryan Fiabiap, Francisco Felician. Canseco have written songs that have made some Filipino singers famous. Kayabyab writes music for full-length ballets, theater musicals, choral pieces, orchestral pieces, commercial recordings of popular music, film scores, and television specials. Feliciano, introduced, uh, Feliciano produced more than 30 major works that include operas, music dramas, liturgical pieces, hymns, and songs for worship. And then for rap, we do have Francis Magalona. Okay, so coming back with Ryan Kayabiab, so siya ang sumulit ng Pasko na Sinta ko at Kumukutikutita. At of course, marami pang mga Christmas songs. Then that eh, most of the time, nakikita ko siya sa ABS-CBN. So in the 1970s, Pinoy rock and pop developed and are still the most popular music forms in the Philippines. There are also acoustic and folk in ballad form promoting nationalism, possessing easy listening chords and written in Filipino, English, or Taglish. Some famous contemporary singers include Freddy Aguilar, who is famous for his song Anak, Apo Hiking Society, who is famous for their song Dubi Dubi Do or Nakapagtataka, Gary Villanciano, Sampagita, Kule Desma, Joey Ayala, and Francis Magalona, who is pretty much famous for his patriotic songs like Mga Kababayan Ko at uh, Man from Manila. So they have been played in local radio stations, stage concerts performed in bars or special events. So there are three aspects that can be considered when appreciating music and they are discussed below. First is form. This refers to the musical elements in the song. For example, the listener checks if there is a distinct rhythm, what tempo is used, is it written in a particular style, 
if it identifies with a particular genre of music like classical, rock, folk, ballad, blues, rap, pop, etc. So it means that with form you are trying to identify which genre it is. Pero sa panahon natin actually ngayon, contemporary time, usually meron tayo mga music na hindi natin easily ma-identify yung form. Katulad na kapag sinabi natin na yung instrumental music na ito ay more on epic music siya kung saan pinagsama-sama lahat ng genres. Okay? Then, context. Very important din yung context. Lalo na kapag ka yung music ay may lyrics, hindi lang siya instrumental. Okay? Anyway, kapag ka sinabi natin na classical music, hindi natin siya tinatawag na the R songs. Usually, tinatawag natin sila na musical pieces imbis na classical songs. Pero kapag ka sinabi natin classical songs, ibig sabihin noon, we are actually discussing about yung mga old songs noon. Okay? Pero once again, kapag ka sinasabi natin yung songs ni na Beethoven, Liszt, uh, Rachmaninov, at iba pa, they are musical pieces. Okay? So, context. This refers to events surrounding the song. So, meron kasi tayong mga kanta. Maaring yung singer ay actually nagkikwento. So, kung pakikinggan niyo yung kanta na huling El Bimbo, dapat naintindihan niyo kung ano yung nangyayari doon sa kanta din mismo. Okay? So, a way to determine this is by knowing when the song was composed. It also helps to find out about the composer's worldview. What is his or her view on life and humankind? What is his character? So, ito, pwede mong questionin kung sino yung composer at singer. Pero tatandaan natin, minsan, kapag ka sa mga vocalists natin or singers, some of them don't actually compose their own song. They are composed by another person. So kapag ka ganon, ang kailangan yung hanapin ay kung sino yung composer, hindi lang yung kumanta. Pero meron naman tayong mga singer-composer. Okay? Then last is expression. Expression. This refers to the meaning of the song. What message is the composer trying to communicate? What values are held by the singer? What attitudes and ideas does the song bring out of the listener? So that's all for today. Do you have any other questions regarding today's lesson? <sighs>